Hello everyone and welcome back to Outer Wilds. This is episode 15. Last time we got spooked. I mean, of course we got spooked. Can you believe what's going on in this game right now? It's uh it is genuinely spooky central. Uh we have discovered secrets that have allowed us to proceed. We hit a wall last time. We got very, very stumped. However, uh, we discovered codes, and then from then on, we discovered uh, burnt slide reels, which revealed the secret to the other codes, which have been burned away in three separate locations. Uh, we are going to be heading to those locations um, in this episode to try and, uh, I guess, um, figure it out. And we're going to try and do that as uh, efficiently as possible. And I'm pretty scared. I'm pretty scared to do so. Uh, but we will. We're just going to have to have to see um, how how we go. Okay. Um, this first segment. We're getting straight to business because it's, I need to steal myself because uh, this game is in a terrifying uh, situation. I need to be of steel resolve where nothing can scare me. Um, so uh, this first segment, there is a path that is very, very dark. And we are going to walk that path. And I believe that it is how we can get to that house over there. Um, I think we can go from... Hmm. Actually, how do we... Fuck. I'm not entirely sure how to get there, actually. Uh, also, um, upon learning this knowledge, uh, upon actually learning this knowledge in this place, uh, we have discovered that uh, the owl creatures uh, do indeed exist um, in the dreamland. Uh, they are patrolling it now, uh, and it's actually fucking terrifying. Uh, so there is a, um, a secret path to get to this house. We watched a, we watched a slideshow of it uh, take place. Now, I, I fully expect to probably uh, fucking die <laughs> a few times or get woken up by um, uh, an owl that's in here. Now, I don't know how to get there. I'm going to be real with you. Uh, we watched the video and I know where to go from the video. Uh, the problem is it's over the other side of the water. And I don't know how to get over the other side of, of the water. Um, to be to be quite frank. Oh, actually, hold on. Oh. I know how to get to the other side of the water. Okay. Good timing. I didn't even fucking see that. Uh, this, this has been there this whole time. That's awesome. This has been there this whole time. Look at that over there. You see that over there. Okay. So, all that I know from this segment, as we saw in the slideshow, is we have to follow this fucking... Oh my god, you can actually see it walking. Look at that. We have to follow this path. Now, I don't know if there's one on this path. There most likely is. Um... I think the worst part about this is I don't actually know the way. So, by walking in the darkness, we risk... Um... Oh, shit. Uh, we risk falling into the, um... We, we risk falling into the, um... The water. Uh, there's a hand tree. I think that's involved somehow. Um, we can see their lantern, and part of me is like, we could use that lantern. Oh, actually, this might... Oh, hang on. Oh, hang on a fucking minute. Oh. 
Where's this hand tree facing? Where's this tree facing? Where can I go from here? That's weird. Hang on, where are you? Oh. Usually it's kind of like directly in front of you. Strange. Okay. For a second there, I'm like, well, if we need to run away. Yeah, as soon as you make eye contact with it, you're fucking teleported. I was like, if I need to run away from an uh, owl creature, at least that's where I can hide. I think the only. Oh, hang on. Oh. Look at him. Okay, hold on. We're gonna follow it. We're gonna follow it in. We're gonna stay in the darkness, and we're just gonna follow it in. And I think we're I think we're on the path now. Okay. As long as we follow it, and it doesn't randomly turn around or something, I think we should be fine. We're concealing ourselves in the darkness. And we need to go inside this house, and then inside this house there will be the code. And I will be prepared to take a photo of said code with my Hearthian iPhone. And that's one code down. And then we need to do two more. Far out. This is a bit of a journey, isn't it? Look at these fucking things. They're so creepy. Why can't... Why can't they just let me have a tiny bit of knowledge that they've locked away and kept secret for God knows how many years? The music coming from this house is creepy as hell. Now, last episode we tried the second location. Uh, and we did get to one point with that. Um, however, um, we failed, so we're going to need to, uh, try that after this one. Uh, we got, we managed to get into the room to summon the bridge, but the supernova went off. Okay. The only problem I have with this is there's obviously got one behind us as well, because they're all walking like the path. Oh my fuck. Surely. Oh my fucking god. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, I remember what we have to do here. We have to walk through the fire. Alright, the door's closed. Um, We have to walk through the fire. However... Um, they're all just fucking standing here. Um, hi everyone. It's pretty bright in this house. Um, is there a way to potentially have you all kind of move on? You reckon I, you reckon they don't know that I'm, they're all looking. They're straight up all looking at me. Yeah. What the fuck do we do there? What do we, what? Okay. What do we do there? I know how to get there now. We can follow, uh, follow that dude to get in the house. I was expecting an empty house. This is silly me. I was expecting to be able to walk right through that fireplace. Um, so that complicates things. Do I just have to walk even closer 
to the to that owl in front of me? Do I just have to walk like even closer to it? Oh, how nice of the bridge to stay there. That's great. I guess it'll until the uh, the loop supernova happens. All right, what am I supposed to do here? Oh. Is there a way for us to, uh, oh shit, hang on. Is there a way for us to blow out all the lights? We must be able to like find an extinguish point and blow out all the lights. Right? Shit, hang on. That's what we might, we're gonna have to, ex that's the only way that we're gonna be able to get in, right? We're gonna have to turn off the lights, then follow them in, then creep past the fireplace. Correct. Also, this has to do something. However, I'm so, there, there's a bit of a problem. Bit of a problem here. Uh, there is a fucking tree here, and I cannot see its connection. I cannot. See, it looks like it should be right there, and it's not. Oh, you know what? I'm, a, I'm an idiot. This is like a shortcut. You can get here. You can go up here. You can just go straight here. It's just a one way. It's a one way tree. Never mind. It's a one way tree. It's one of those get out, get over here quick cards. I got you. Never mind. Let's move on collectively. Now, I'm going to try and look for an angle that faces this house uh, that we could potentially blow out the lights in the house. Right? Otherwise, I don't know what to tell you. Without alerting. Yeah, and there's a house here. Okay. Oh no, that's the dam breaking and we're gonna get a fucking woken up. Abruptly. I'm about to get woken up, dude. Asshole. <laughs> um, and that door opened, right? And out of that door comes another owl, I assume. Maybe we could quickly uh, sneak our way past them and get into... Oh, I can't believe the raft is upside down. That's a bit rude. Um, we can sneak our way... past them and then we'll see if there's anything in that that little house that will allow us to blow out the lights in the house. And then we have to go through that house in pure darkness while they're all just standing there and there's one right in front of the fire. Where the, where the hell am I? Oh, shit. Uh, the only thing that bothers me there is um, the only thing that bothers me about being in the fire is they're gonna see us in the light, so we gotta like fucking almost just make a break for it, run right through that light. They'll be they'll be coming after us. I don't, I don't know. It's 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 risky biz. It's it's risky biz. Uh, we also probably should not pole up in this tower because this tower is also on its last legs. Like it's gonna just collapse into the water at some point and wake me up again. So we're going to go to, uh, we're going to go to area number two instead, where we are safe from the flood. And uh, area number two, sorry, area number three, we are safe from the flood. And then we're going to head back to the first area again and see if we can figure out this uh, grand old uh, grand old puzzle. This very difficult grand old puzzle, I might add. Sleepy time, boy. Wake up after one second. Back into it. Okay, so we're in uh, town number three. As we leave town number three, old house. Now. Um, now from here, now I gotta remember 
the way from here. Oh yeah, bridge. Bridge. That elevator takes me down to the raft spot. Now, it's only when the darkness happens that they're patrolling, right? Oh! Which is actually quite interesting. If they're only patrolling when it's dark, I can do this while we're in the light, while we're safe. Fuck, didn't think about that. I can do this right now. So I can, I can walk in, I walk right in here and I can do this. I can make the bridge, ah, uh, no, I can't. No, I can't because when we turn out the lights, it will turn out the lights to the whole house, which turn, turns off that bridge. Never mind. I thought I had a Eureka moment. Oh, fuck me. What? They're roaming around. They're roaming around. Oh shit, I never saw that before. Oh fuck. They're roaming around in the back here. I didn't even realize that they were doing that. They're on the other side of that door. Fuck me, they're just waiting for me to turn out all the lights. And then they'll strike. Fuck that noise. You just have to memorize the path that you need to take in the light. And then good luck, have fun. The rest of it. Anyway, we're taking this lift down. I'm gonna back gonna go back to the first area. Ah, <sighs> we'll turn off the lights to this place next time. So we're gonna focus on the first area. Again, my only concern is how do we we got to turn off the lights to the house to get through the fire and the flames. Get your get your butt over here, will you? Get your butt over here, flying raft. We've wasted enough time. You have to be so efficient in in the in these loops, you know. Like you have to be so efficient. Really gotta, like, just waste zero seconds. But I guess the positive thing is, is once you have the code for each area, you don't have to go back there. And that's it. You will just have your three codes, and you go in this thing underground. It's already end times. It feels like it's been no time at all. It's already the end times. That's in that's insane. I mean, we are coming up on the time, but sheesh. It feels like it went by faster than usual. All right, so this is the starting area, and this house here, I reckon, might have what we want, right? That house might have what we want. So the shortcut... Oh fuck, this door is closed. Uh, if you do everything in the wrong order, you're screwed. That's another thing. You have to do it in order or you're screwed. Can I... Because I can't... You can't see the... There you go. See, I can't see the... I, I can't see the tree from, from this angle. Because I need to be up there. So you have to get into this area first, open the door, wake up, and then from there, you can come back to this area if you so please. Can I hit the tree from here? Can I hit... Nope. Unbelievable, dude. 
un unbelievable. Look at that. Look at that. Look at what we can what we can see. <laughs> no. All right. End of loop. End of end of loop. We accomplished not much. We all we have is a theory on how to potentially uh, get in. Maybe turn off the lights for that main house. And we don't even know if that's confirmed yet. And uh, that's that's one loop down. I got I got to say that once we get into the pure darkness and stealth segment thing, it's just obviously not knowing where to go that just makes it difficult. Because now I'm like, uh, I don't know where the fuck to go. But once we learn the path, I assume that we could probably be a little bit more, uh, a little bit more fast paced. Let's go. Right, we are in uh, area number one. We are in the first area. And then we go to the first area. And then from this spot, we want to go here. And then from here, what we do is we open this door by extinguishing it. And then what we do, oh, we don't even have to make that bridge anymore, do we? We don't have to make the bridge because what we do is we go up here this spot and we stand here and then we go oh what's over there it's a fucking hand teleport tree nice and then from this hand teleport tree we are going to go over here do this hand teleport tree and now we're on track so that's a cool shortcut so we don't have to summon the bridge anymore but now what we have to do is we have to go uh, to this house. Where does where this house at? All right, bridge, house. Now, I guess we wait for this door to open. This is what we're theorizing right now. Wait for this door. Open. Does it close like instantly? Fuck. Okay. Um. Hmm. Okay, maybe we're not going in there. Oh shit! Hang on. There's another door here too. What are we? Hmm. None of these spots have a good eye of the um like a uh, none of these locations have a good spot of the house to like potentially blow out some candles okay a different door opens this time mm. well fuck you all right what we're gonna do is we're gonna like shadow this creature like real close like and then when we get into the house we're just going to stay super close to it and then maybe because we're shadowing it maybe we'll be undetected i don't know i just work here uh we'll see what happens i feel like i'm under the correct assumption though that i should need to extinguish the house to navigate the darkness because otherwise how else are we going to get past the uh, how, how else are we going to get past them should i just sprint should i just make a run for it you know what i mean i don't know Could they, you reckon that they might not be able to get past the fire and as long as if I just make it past them, I'd be scolded. I'm trying not to touch it because I feel like obviously if I like walk into his back, I'm not going to be happy. You 
if this attempt fails, if this attempt fails, shadowing it real close, then I will obviously look for a way to extinguish the house. Now, is that them singing along with them playing the their little instrument? I guess it sounds like it. And then the music stops. I was onto something. Was I was I not onto something by shadowing it? Was I not onto something? We got pretty far. There, you can see all these like points of shadow that I can like exist in. I may, I've, might have to follow it up. And then I, I think I just must have tapped that guy. And he's like, "Wait, what the fuck is that?" Oh my god, this is diff this is actually difficult. I think I'm onto something. Like, I'm wondering if I can kind of like beat them. Is the door open? Like, can I, uh, I feel like I need, I obviously have to be there when, um, I wonder if I could beat them there. If I can quickly follow this path. It's an under, underground thing. There you go. And they go down here. I might just be able to like wait, wait it out. I can okay, I can speed this up now. I can speed this up now. Okay, shadowing, super shadowing. But walking a bit to its left, so I don't knock into that other one. Whoa! Ah, oh, fuck. Never mind. I'm beginning to think this is not possible. Wait, wait, what if, okay, hang on, it has come to me, after the dam breaks, all the lights would be out, right, because the water washes through that area and washes everything away, and the lights that get turned out in, uh, the lights that get turned out affect vice versa, location. If we wait until the dam breaks, all right, let's leave. If we wait until the dam breaks, I think we can go back there. And all the lights will be out. And then I can walk through there without getting seen. All right, that's, that's the new plan. Oh, wait, fuck, wake up. Wake up. Because we have to, we have to wait, all right. Um, I've potentially already wasted too much time. Dam hasn't broken yet, but what we're going to do is we're now going to move into the next area and fuck it. We're, that must have to be one of the last areas that you go to then. And you go there after the dam breaks. So what we're going to do now is... Uh, go into this next area. We'll do this tower one first. Um, and this tower one is the one where I think you can, you need to turn off, you, you can blow out the lights. Oh, the halfway point of the raft. That's right. Uh, you go on the raft and then on the halfway point, uh, there's a thing you can go to. You blow out the, uh, you, 
blow out the fucking light, and then you can go down into the to the bottom section. Only problem with that is it's gonna be patrolled by fucking owls. So we haven't even attempted this one. I'm pretty sure like this is it though. This is what what we gotta do. Once we have these three codes, we go to that final area. We we put those bad boys in. Seal is broken. Secret knowledge obtained, right? And an another mystery that we haven't actually solved. Uh, another mystery that we haven't actually solved was the weird of uh, the weird sort of thing that happened when we. There goes the dam. When we walked down to the bridge that one time, um, and everything went weird lighting mode, like some weird like green. I don't, I don't know how. I can't remember how we how that played out. So it's probably another light related thing. Can we get to the, um, how do we get to the, I think it's from here, this way, isn't it? Am I remembering correctly? Nope. Not remembering correctly. Oops, wrong way. I remember how we... How do we do this? Ah, oh, this way. Wait. Where the fuck this hand pointing at? Is this a, is this a one way hand? I'm trying to go through this area by memory fucking... That's not where I want to be. That's not even where I want to be. What if your memory is not strong enough to remember where you needed to go? this way. No, this just takes us to that tree hand. That's where I was, I just was there. Why am I incapable? Oh, I have to go down, don't I? Down here. Can you tell that I'm panicking due to my time? This is where we go. All I need is like what? If I can get like, if I can just get one code out of this man, just one code out of this loop, I'll be happy. Man. All right. So from here. There is a fucking tree in the halfway. Yeah. Me in there. There we go. Alright. Then from there, we do this. And then, from 
that, we do that. So we've extinguished it. Uh, that that's their fucking. That's their. F do you hear that? That's their. F their. F Can I go down? Can I drop? Am I okay to drop? I oh, tree. Nice. Okay, now I need to get to the center from here, but I don't know. The, I can't use my fucking. I can't use. Oh! I can't use my, I can't focus my torch because if I focus my fucking torch, it will turn on all the lights out there and then the sentry's got my ass. When we, how did, how did we get the weird lighting stuff to happen? Did it, it happened when we put the artifact down? Did it not? Fluoro green mode. If we put it down. Okay. Dude, it fucking reveals everything. What the hell? Oh, it even reveals the path of the... Why does this feel like I'm, like, looking at, like, the wireframe of a fucking game? Oh, right, because I guess, like, because this is, like, their, their technology, I guess, that we're in, like, a fucking, in, like, some, the dr the dreaming is, like, a, they're, like, si oh, 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 what is this? Oh, it's the radius of the fucking, oh, it's the radius of the fucking lantern. You just have to leave its vicinity. Okay, hold on. Okay, hold on. Because the, the way that they save and like transfer information, because they have like visions with like the the light and stuff. Ah, oh, I'm I'm getting my brain is wrinkling. This looks like the Matrix. Is it like? Are we are we all are we not like we're dreaming? But all, like, are we saved to a fucking space owl hard drive right now? You know what I mean? Some Doctor Who saved to the library shit. And we're in like a stream of like, like data information that's been protected, like being protected by data ghosts. This, this all looks like fucking a stream of like technological information. And you know what? Fuck me. Who needs a fucking lantern? I've just obtained the ability to just I can my my light is protected here. They the ghosts the the fucking owls can't wake me up, dude. You can even see the range of the sentries. Oh, this is nuts. Oh, you can see it. You can see it patrolling. Okay, here I realize I realize our strengths. Oh, the tower's falling. <gasps> oh, shit, my lantern. Oh! I just realized our strengths and weaknesses. Oh, hello. I didn't realize I could just go out of the bottom like that. Um, our strengths and weaknesses. We need the... Oh wow, the tower falls at the end time. It's interesting. Uh, we need the artifact to focus on the teleportation hand trees. So we have to take it with us. But when we don't need... 
when we don't need it, when we don't need to teleport anymore, we can drop the artifact on the ground and that therefore our flame is protected. What are they going to do when they grab us? They got no flame to blow out, right? So we can run on through there without a lantern running in their little matrix. And that might be how we get through. Oh man, the problem with that is there's still so many like things that you need to do that involve like having the lantern and focusing the light, I think. Like for example, in the second area, um, sorry, in that third area where we need to focus the light through the thing to make a bridge. So it's, it's not a, Hmm. It's not a easy solution, but it is a solution. Okay. I know, I know what we must do. Let's just count that as a natural end of loop. Because it is. I'm just going to wake up. Okay, so I think our new plan is we do the second area, then the third area, and then the first area, because the first area we can go through when all the lights are off. I'm assuming the flood comes through and should turn all the lights off, and we can go through there, because I can't find a thing that you can just blow it all out and extinguish it, because all the, those houses that we tried to check out are closed. So that's my other option. I love waking up with the quantum moon, like right in front of you like that. It's so cool. Solanum! You're out there somewhere. Every time we figure something out in Echoes of the Eye, I feel reinvigorated in my journey to figure this shit out, right? I, I think I think we're on to something juicy here, so... In this first area, I should be able to drop the artifact so I can see, because that is a whole new perspective. I should be able to, once the water floods place, I drop my artifact on the ground, run on through that house in the dark, go through the fire, find our first code. Now for the second area, I can do more of the same, but for the third area, it's going to be more difficult. The third area is going to be much more difficult. Because I should be able to enter the enter the matrix um, in that in that second area too, and then go down that that little that little tunnel. So. Let's see, let's see what we got. Ah, oh, my knee! It's so dramatic when you, when you hit something, because it makes like that massive sound, but you barely take any damage. Yeah! It's the equivalent of like, I think, kicking your pinky toe. Like, it barely does any damage to you, but it just feels like you're about to die. That's the equivalent of taking that minuscule damage in Outer Wilds. Kicking your pinky toe on the raft. Where did my... Excuse me. Where did I, I didn't say you could go. I didn't say you could go. Okay. Now what we need to do is go into this first area. Because we need to make sure that we open the shortcut door. Because it's crucial. If we don't open that door in this first area, um, when, we, when the flood happens and we need to come back here, we fucking won't be able to. So we have to do this. So we don't get stuck. Into this area, open that door, wake up, move to the second area, do that puzzle, wake up, go do the next puzzle, and then you should be safe from the flood in that third area, and then you go back to the first area, and you're done. And if you and if you fail at any of those points, as long as you obtain like one or two codes and obviously just hold on to them.
Oh, hang on. So doors open. Good night. <gasps> uh, right. I almost started trying to do the solution. So that door's open. We're safe from the, uh... Damn. Off we go to the next location. We're getting more and more efficient the further we the further we get into this mess. And as I slowly remember how I can actually go to each area. That'll help me tremendously with my memory. Okay, next area. Fucking speed run. God, this is such a complex, convoluted fucking journey in comparison to the base game. Like, my God. And that's not a negative comment at all. It's fantastic. It's just like, God damn. All right. Logically, it makes sense that we still need the, to focus on the fucking on the light. You know, and on the on the trees where we're doing our little teleport move, but I'm just like, if if we're in the, you know, if we're in the the matrix and I can just see it from a distance, you'd think you could just like look at it and then teleport to it. But. Okay. Um. So we go through here, go through here past the century, baby. Do this. I don't even know if actually doing that does anything. But we're going this way. And then we're going this way. In that fucking place. Look at this, look at this sheer speed. You obviously need the light to do that as well. Some things you just need a lantern for. But I think we're getting close to when we don't need the lantern anymore. So, extinguish. Now, why do I feel like I could leave my lantern here? You know what I mean? Like, there's a tree here. Why do I feel like I could leave my lantern here? You know, I feel like I can. I'm gonna drop this. I'm trying to walk forwards. Where am I? <gasps> okay, there we go. I'm out. Nice. Oh, it scared the shit out of me. Okay, I'm finally out of its zone. Oh my god, you see them being ghosts. Okay. Now... This is fucking cool as shit once you figure this out. Problem. Problem. Can't get down to the bottom. Problem. This is not the solution. I have to... Fuck, that means I have to go down this lift first and then I can drop the lift. Shit. Come on, I believe in myself, dude. I believe in myself. Believe in myself. There's only one fucker. He's right there. There's only one. I guess that's a good, like, sort of point to do this. You, you can see how many... Oh, this is bullshit. Oh! Don't do the spin. Why are you spinning? 
What's with the ludicrous double spin move? I have to get back to my lantern. Okay. You can at least see, like, the fucking path that they're on. Oh, no! Oh, what, what is that? Shit, now I have to... Uh, ooh, all right, give me that, give me that back. Fuck. Can I, I, sh can I not see? Oh, it was right there. You see that? Oh, I can't see. I need to get into this house and I'm trapped behind a fucking... <gasps> All right. oh, why is this so difficult? Trapped behind a fucking tree. <laughs> it's so difficult to be in the goddamn dark. All right, the lights are off. So from this area, I should be able to just go straight in. So I'm past where that fucker is roaming, right? So he's over there. So I need to go this way. And the lift is like right here. Alright, 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 alright. Lift here. It's actually easier to get your, your light blown out this way. Alright, now we're on the ground floor. I'm going to drop my... Actually, I don't know where to go from here. I should probably make sure that I have a little bit of it. <gasps> oh, fuck. Oh, there was another one. Okay. Nobody saw that. Nobody saw that. Alright, so now it's guarding down the bottom when you get to the bottom. That's good to know. They don't... They really wanted to protect this information. They, re <laughs> they really don't want you to get it. They really don't want you to get this information. We're, we're so close, dude. Okay, the problem is just knowing where to go from here. Like, I could drop my artifact and, like, try and just... Try and blindly walk forward. And it happened again try and blindly walk forward until I enter the matrix. That's not how I get there, is it? It's not. I have to fucking sneak past this dude in the dark. All right. I need to stop trying to get lucky with this, with the matrix. I thought that was the key to everything. I think what it is, is it's a good way to plan out your route ahead of time, I suppose. It's a good way to plan out your route ahead of time. You reckon I could, like, how's our, how's our fall damage? How's our fall damage? You know what I mean? Not good. <laughs> how's our fall damage? To answer your question, not good. Hearthian's got little fragile legs, dude. They got little fragile legs. We ain't dropping down onto a second platform, okay? Don't even think about it. They thought it through. They thought it through. You need a light source to use the lifts. I can't just fucking matrix my way through. That's the damn breaking. But it's okay, because we're in the second area. Unfortunately, we have not done this anywhere near efficiently enough. This has not been done nearly 
as, if, as efficiently as we could. Now that's where I walk off. So I need to walk this way. So I might be able to just, you know what? I'm going to drop this. I'm going to walk straight this way. Fuck yeah. All right. I'm in the matrix. Oh, that tower though. All right. You reckon I can... my neck you know what okay okay you know what that makes sense I, w I thought here I thought maybe I would be they would be stumped they'd be like fuck what do we do with this thing we can't blow out his flame you know what logically them killing me is the next step that means they're taking it easy on me when they see the flame there's a warning shot they're like don't come back that's a warning shot otherwise you are getting your neck snapped Make, that makes sense. Makes sense. They're going to protect their information at all costs. Okay. Uh, what that means we have to do is we have to actually lure it out of that spot. To get past it. I kind of hate that it makes us do it. I kind of hate that it makes us fucking make it in the spot. So what we have to do is we have to fucking lure it out of the spot. Oh, fuck it. Okay. I just fell in the water. Did I just fall in the water? And just, I woke up instantly? Is there water next to me? Yeah, I think so. <sighs> this is a train wreck. This is absolute shambles, but you have to see my attempts. Otherwise, none of this is genuine. You have to see that I am trying and failing spectacularly. I wish that there was a way that I could just circumvent that stupid ghost owl. But alas, I've got brittle Harthian bones, and it won't work. Before we know it, this tower is going to fall down. I'm actually going to get pulled out of my dream right as I'm about to get the code. Knowing my luck. All right, so I have to not fall in the water. Where's the water? Oh, right there. So I fell in the water. All right, so what I need to do... That's not. Oh, hang on. There's a whole side path here. Oh, I need a minute. Oh, shit. Hang on. The side path. No shit. Off we go. Off we go. Off we go. Off we go. Shit. Yeah. And then I use the light of the sentry that briefly goes off to like... Yes. Bitch. I use the light of the sentry ever so briefly to see where I'm walking. Which is super smart. Please don't be one down here, dude. I, I have earned this. I have fucking earned this. There better not be one down here. Can I just go for it? Please, dear God, do not let there be one down here. Oh, you're going to do this? To oh, there is one. Fuck off, man. I'm gonna use you to light my fucking way. I'm jumping. Oh, that's a gap. That's a chasm. Oh, I'm gonna use you to light my way. Oh, shh. Fuck you. Oh, fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Keep going. Oh, there's a lift. 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 I'm being fucking chased. I hate this shit. Quick, quick, quick. Go down. Go down. Go down. Ha! Fuck you. Oh my god. I was about to open up all those fucking pictures one by one. Holy shit. Oh, uh, that's a lot of knowledge. Oh my god. Please, please, please. Before the tower falls down. Before the tower falls down. Before the tower falls down. Are you fucking kidding me? Is this the code? Hang on, I need to put a fucking... Oh, fuck! I fucking hate you, game. Oh, my God. Oh, it's okay. 
Oh, I gotta find the one. Oh. D Do you hear that? That's this. Oh my god. That's the sound of the. What? What's? What's that? That's the sound of the tower about to fall down. Is this what? They're digitizing their planet. Look at that. They digitized it. The brain goes into the artifact. They're digitized. Yes, it's a fucking matrix, dude. <gasps> oh. Yeah, dude. Okay, so when their body is dead, they can't return. And they're stuck there. When the bell rings, they're like, they're, it's like digitized. They're like digitized. It's like fucking technology. Technology. Oh, that's fucking cool as shit. Okay. So this is like weird sort of audio technology. That's so cool. So the brain, it's like downloaded into the artifact. It's downloaded into that. Oh, it's like a field. Scans your brain. And there you go. You're in. Hello. Welcome. Oh, no. Oh. oh, that's so sad. Oh, but the fight. Oh, but the flame went. He got saved. Okay, that's so cool because he was in the fucking. Okay. Why do I sympathize with these fucking devils that are killing me? Oh, that's so cool. Okay. Alright, I saw this. You scanned this and you got sad. Because you saw the end of everything. Is this, this, this is the same one. Because then you're like, oh no. And then they're all like, we're evil. And then we burn this down. This is new. Oh, because we're seeing the non-redacted versions. That's, okay, and that's the fucking thing that they released. Oh. Oh. They, they put something out there that stopped the signal. Oh, fuck me. Okay. Oh, this is amazing. We're seeing the non-redacted versions of it. That's spectacular, obviously, because they scanned them all and digitized them. You hear that? That's the sound of the fucking tower falling over. Um, excuse me, but how the hell am I supposed to, ow, how the hell am I supposed to obtain the code? I thought I was just going to get the code and we were out of here. It's burned the fuck away. I can't believe that they've burned it away in here as well. I guess it makes sense, but at the same time, God damn it. Um... Is the clue to the code maybe in those three slides? Well, that that door's been shot at me now. How do I how do I get how do I get how do I get into the next area? I'm on a time limit here. Is there a fucking tree that I can teleport to? Oh, that's the fucking oh, that's the main area. Look at that. That's the vault over there. I recognize where we are. I need a pause to, to talk about this. So, oh man, just when you think you're about to get the code, just when you think you're about to get the code, it's burned away even in the digitized sanctum. Being able to see those slide reels without the redacted slides is awesome. So that other craft that they launched out scanned the eye and like stopped it from emitting that signal so other species would not do what they did, make the same mistake and learn about their end, I guess. How do we discover what this code is? I genuinely thought that this was it, you know? Like secret under the elevator. I can't get out of the elevator once it goes up. Look how many there are. Look at this archive. Like, what the hell? They got everything in here. Oh, that, that, 
Oh, I've been bamboozled, dude. So you insert the artifact, it opens up the door. But it only opens up one door. It doesn't open up this door. Are there other slides for me to get? Or just those three? sure if these contain the clues for the code in here. I don't see why they would. I love the soundtrack in this game and how the music cuts uh, cuts in at like particular moments when you're watching the slide reels. Like it's so good. I, I'm, again, I'm absolutely stumped. I thought we had it, dude. They've burned it away. I thought I had it. What do we, what do I do now? Is the code potentially not in this room at all, but it is back up there? With these fucking owls. And I need to find it in the in these things. Oh what? Oh shit. Get fucked. Where the fuck is it? Where the fuck is a code? <laughs> this is frustrating me. This is frustrating me. I was like, we've done it. One code. And it's burned away. And all we got was more knowledge. More knowledge. So can I expect the same from the other locations too? All right. Can we expect the same from the other locations? It's also going to be the same. We'll get into a room with a, with uncensored slide reels. However, however, with said uncensored slide reels, there will be what we think is the code. However, gotcha. It's not the code at all. More knowledge. So where where are these co damn codes, dude? <sighs> We're gonna try our first area. And what I'm low-key concerned about is the fact that this tower is probably gonna fall. Perfect timing. What I was low-key concerned about is that tower is gonna fall at any moment. Uh, which signifies the end time. So we're out of time on our loop once again. <laughs> we're out of time. <sighs> so what we're going to do is we're going to do that again. We're going to do that again. Where we go to the first area, open the door, go to the second area. Except we're not going to go to the second area this time because it didn't have what we sought. It didn't have what we were after. Instead, I guess we can go to the third area and we can try and do that. And then when the flood happens, we go back to the first area and we enter the matrix and we sneak on through the fire. But it, no, I need to bring the lantern with me because if it's going to have another one of those rooms with the unredacted things, I need the lantern to be able to read the knowledge. I can't. I'm, one, I'm really wondering what the whole thing is with the stepping out of the lantern vicinity. It just, I guess it allows you to pre-plan your, your route if you're smart enough to remember it. And I am not. Again.
I don't think we have to go to the second area anymore. We've learned what we've needed to learn from those slide reels. So now we go to the third area and learn what we can from that slide slide reel. <gasps> and then we wait for the third location where the lights should all be out by the dam. Which I fucking hope is the answer. So we're going to cut right to the third area, which is good because we'll be safe from the flood. And we'll be safe from the tower falling. So this area, as far as I'm concerned, I think is done. Made it into the code room. There was no code, but there was more information on what happens when an owl gets downloaded into this place. If the physical body is extinguished, they are, they stay there. If they die while they're in that little bubble, the flame still activates and they get put in there. So it downloads their consciousness into the artifact. And because of that, that makes sense for the, um, because of that, when you step out of the range of the artifact, you enter like the fucking code behind the wall, essentially, like the matrix, and you're fucking walking out of it. But you feel your body's still there, it can still have your neck snapped by, by an owl. It's crazy to go, oh, we're, we're dreaming and we're having like some sort of weird like dream vision, but then like you get to a point where it's, it's a weird technology that they've invented to download you into the into the artifact and your consciousness your existence is purely tied to that fire it's so crazy and i i absolutely love it so it looks like in these rooms we're not actually going to find the code but we're going to find information and hopefully we will then find information that can lead us uh, to the code. We'll see like something unredacted that'll help us get the the codes plural. Only one way to find out through absolute desperate struggle to stealth past these bad boys. Now in this third area what we need to do uh, is we need to extinguish all the lights in this house. Um, that is my controller. We need to uh, extinguish all the lights in this house and then we have to go through the house in the dark while there are owl hunters around uh, and spe uh, very specifically turn on the lights for that one bridge so we can cross the bridge and then go down to the bottom area with that mural with the tree with the door in it and then we walk through there and then from that point onwards I don't know what to tell you so I just have to get this god damn it's a why work god damn you really gonna make me do the whole thing um oh, now now I need to remember where do we where do I go to turn to extinguish all the lights in this place I've I've forgotten that very crucial bit of information there. Shit. Um I'm gonna I'm gonna cheat again. And I use cheat lightly. And by cheat I mean I'm gonna watch my episode so I can remember how I blew out the lights to um to the house. Cause how did I blow out the lights to the house? How did we extinguish it? You know? That's that's what I want to say. How do we extinguish it? Doing my doing my live research. Ah, oh, 
there's a um hang on uh -huh. i remembered before we even got to the point in the video there's the fucking instrument stage and there's a secret path i remember there's the instrument stage It'd be nice if i could teleport from here that'd be great um there's the place where they play the music funky white boy right and from that spot there's a secret there's an invisible platform that you walk across it it, it it finally came to me and from that point um god this is still so creepy from that point you then Will extinguish the house. Extinguish the house lights. And then you need to make your way in. And good luck to you. you know? I'm currently trying to remember how we get to. I'm trying to remember how we, how, the, how we get to the. I keep forgetting how to get to that spot, the musical, the land of music. to use the tree up there wasn't I you already see like I'm I'm doing this all in the wrong order because I'm just oh, I'm stressed can't do it from back here so when I in the darkness when I light that thing I need to go this way the good thing is I should be able to just absolutely run past the owl when it's patrolling this place go to that tree potential happy days So this goes to Mural. This is and this is where we need to go in the darkness. So we're pretty much home free from that point. Run right over the bridge, get in there. We've survived. Now this goes to the elevator which takes us down there. I'm just mapping this all out of my head. This is where the stage is. And this is where the invisible pathway is. It has come back to me. But yeah, genuinely, I started watching the video and then realized, I was like, oh wait, I remember now. Okay. Um, so now we go this way. Why must they be alerted to our presence? Oh yeah, and then there's the secret painting door. Oh, actually, can we go back through that door? Back the other way? Or is it a one-way... Is that a one-way thing? Because that's a great shortcut. Oh my fucking god, it's a two-way thing. That's a great shortcut. Okay, so the one of it's standing... Alright, that one? Oh... That's great. We can skip that whole thing. It's a two-way door. Awesome. So we can blow out the candles immediately when we get to this spot. That saves a lot of time. All right. Now let's get busy. So I've mapped this out in my head now. Probably not very well, but I have at least. So it was better to do it this way. Now I know that there's one right here because we've encountered it last time. So we bait it. It knows exactly where we are, doesn't it? Can I just like fucking blind it with my light? Like, oh my god. I'm going right up the stairs. Right, right up the stairs. Alright, now. It is like right in here, and it's over there. So I need to get around it or lure it. There you are. 
Alright, now you get over here, you bastard. And I need to... Is this fuck? I'm running. I'm running from here. This is where I run. And then I go down here and the fucking teleport tree. <gasps> fuck, I'm oh! My life. I can't believe I just I took the wrong turn. Holy shit. <laughs> the fucking sheer panic that I looked at that and went, there's no tree. <laughs> it was on top of me, dude. Holy shit. I can't believe that. The fact that it was probably a millimeter away from grabbing me and blowing out my light. Okay, that's the dam. But we're okay, because we are in the third area. Okay. There's not one in here, is there? Okay, good. Oh, shit. It's right behind me. Wait. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. What do I have to do? 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 Have to do? Have to do? Have to do? Oh, you fucking piece of shit. I was so close. I made it. Oh no, was it a, I was a, that would have been an invisible bridge. I could have just walked across that, right? Would that just have been an invisible bridge? Was that an invisible fucking bridge, dude? And I could have just walked right across it. <sighs> okay. Um, oh, actually I have a question. Hang on, I should just be able to walk across the bridge now, because I did it successfully, right? I can just walk across the bridge. Surely. Yes. Oh, thank fuck. I have to go through that again. Alright. That's fine. The pressure is now off my shoulders. Now, there's one down here. Just chilling. So I'm gonna... I'm gonna just quickly walk and do Is this an invisible pathway? Oh my god, thank fuck it is. Just the stress of just like walking through that just with full confidence, like please be an invisible pathway because there was an invisible pathway in this same puzzle. Okay, all right, we've made it to this next room. Now the, the place is flooded. We can go back to the first area and check to see if all the lights are out and then we can do the, the same thing. Okay, it takes us to another room of knowledge. Oh, I just need to collect my thoughts, man. Wow. That's all my thoughts that I needed to collect. Hey. Is that also in is that also invisible? Are you just giving me a bunch of invisible walkways? Can I just walk across mm. Can I just walk across this? Or is this gonna is are you fucking with me? <gasps> it lulls you into a false sense of security. It absolutely lulls you into a full sense of security that you can start walking across fucking invisible pathways. <laughs> nothing ventured, nothing gained. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. We are wasting precious time, however. All right, we can make it into the room. And I guess we just can't get to the, to the code. They have kept it out of reach, but we are able to view some slide reels and get some forbidden knowledge. That was previously unaccessible. Oh my god, we've finally done it, dude. Alright. And off we go. <sighs> oh, the elevator's not there because we have to, have to call the elevator back up. If it stays there. Okay. Which is also a waste of time. So what you should do is we should send the lift back up. We should send the lift back up when we go down here in case we fall. 
And then what we're going to do anyway is in this room to save time instead of taking the lift and going back. We're going to um, just wake up and then go again. We'll fall down. All right. Um, so this will open the door to knowledge. We'll go get some slide reels. Okay, let's get some slide reels. Show me the money. So what was redacted? You saw this. You all went and had a movie time. You went, look at our planet. We're so sad about it. All right, this was the redacted shit. So they downloaded their language. That looks like their language on the screen. Into their mystical staffs. They 3D recreated their planet. Okay, we're not 3D recreated. You know what I mean? They, using the data from their planet, they recreated it. They recreated their planet. And put it in, uh, they digitized it. So it's a digital recreation so that they could return home and live forever, essentially. And they get to forever be, they achieved like digital immortality. They're, they're able to live forever and escape the, uh, the impending doom of the universe, which is actually quite fucking amazing, to be honest with you. Oh, this is just what we've, this is just what we figured out. <laughs> okay. Oh, that was what was redacted. That's so funny. All right, well, we figured we, we figured that one out. Uh, we figured that out accidentally a couple of episodes ago by just putting it down and trying to walk past a sentry. And then I've obviously just done that again by recalling that event. Uh, it was only two in here from what I can see. So that was more information. So I guess that was them telling us how to, how to get out. Okay, thank you for your knowledge. I'm out of here. And now we're going back to... The f now we're going back to the first location. That's wild. Um, so they're like, you can exit your little uh, orb space, you know? So now we're going to take the lift down. We're going to get into the raft that takes us to the first area. The light should be out in the house. And then we're going to sneak past the fireplace. And then in that fireplace, it will have more slide reels. And hopefully, because this is seemingly the area that you have to come to last, it should have the final information that we need, maybe. So we might need to put the lantern down, leave the fucking, enter the matrix. And then the code is available only that way, maybe. I, I don't, like, dude, I don't know. We, we, there's like one puzzle piece left. That's what it feels like. It just, it just feels like there's something that'll click it all together. And then we need to like, travel this world in a in a way that we don't we're not currently aware of and that's how we'll find the codes to that final area you know what i mean so now we enter this spot oh shit hang on this spot and then we keep going i'm just i'm so i just need to speed i'm speed To zoom on through to this area, quickly zip zap zop into this spot. Go through the fireplace. Dodge the enemies that are just roaming around. Ah, oh, the lights are still on. Hang on, are they? Are they still on for that house? The lights are still on. Hang on, I'm a bit concerned. Okay, hang on. Shit, the lights are still on. Okay, it might not be going the way that we're expecting it to go. Well, fuck. What do we do now then? What do we do now? Lights are still on. Um, okay. So it must be tied to stepping out of the out of the out of 
bounds of the lantern? I'm not see. Fuck you, end times music. Don't play. I don't want it to end. I'm not seeing any enemies. I'm not seeing any ominous green lights. Oh shit, I'm taking the wrong turn. Where's the underground passage at? Fuck. Oh, dude. All right, hang on. Oh shit. Where's that underground passage at? Oh, I totally lost it. That annoys me. Where's that underground passage at? Where is it? Yeah. Fuck. So close to it. If I'm quick, I want to enter the house and see what I can see before it's over. But I don't have my lantern, so I can't go in there anyway. I don't think there's enemies. There's The lights are on, but there's no enemies walking through here. There's, there's no one here. There's no... Okay. There's no one here. So my theory was half right. It doesn't turn off the lights for me to sneak past them. It just gets rid of them. So they're not even here. With their chessboard. We were so close. We were so close to being able to get in there. That end times music came through. Wow. Okay. This is it then. I now just have to wait. All I do now is wait. <laughs> I have to wait this whole loop out for the flood of the dam to happen. The enemies disappear. The lights don't go off. I was expecting a stealth segment with, with enemies, right? That I'd have to like walk, get by them in the darkness. But it just gets rid of them and I can just walk straight in. So now I wait. I will see you in uh, approximately however many minutes it takes for the dam to break. I realize that I don't actually have to wait in real time. I can just, I can just doze off. So we can at least doze off at the fire and then wake up. Now we've opened the shortcut door in the first area and we're going to sleep in the third area so we are safe from the flood. That'll wipe out the enemies. I don't know if we'll hear the dam go while we're napping. I'd assume so, maybe, because we're kind of asleep. You'd still kind of hear maybe a, a, a distant rumbling. I'm not sure how long it'll take. Five minutes of safe sort of assumption. I don't know. But we're waiting. And then once this happens... All we have to do is go to that first area. I, I don't know if that's enough time, but... We'll see. So... We'll just see how we go from here. So... Oh, I think I can kind of, I think I can hear it. That might be it going off right now. That might be the flood waters going through this area. Maybe. All right, we've dozed off. Good thing is I don't have to do this in the dark, at the very least. I can just go through this nicely. Dude, we timed that almost perfectly. That was the dam blowing up. Holy shit. Nice work, everybody. And now what's good... What's good is I can do this in the light, right? So I don't have to worry about... I don't have to worry about those creatures. So I'll make the bridge go across. We'll go down to the bottom. We're good. We probably could have woken up just the tiniest bit earlier to really maximize our efficiency because we could obviously 
be on our way to the back to the first area by now. If we'd woken up just a little bit earlier. But it's okay. It's okay. It's not too bad. Not too bad. Yeah, this was fucking stressful there, wasn't it? Especially because you can see them creeping out around back there. This one, this one fucking got me though. I still can't believe how close we were <laughs> to getting caught. That's like, that is the definition of a close shave. Okay. Final room, question mark, of secret knowledge. And it's actually much easier to get into this room than I anticipated. I guess because you need to go in there and you need to have to wait until the flood happens. But yeah, I genuinely thought that it would turn off the lights because the water would come through and turn off any light source, right? That was my logical reasoning. But instead, all the lights stay on and the only thing that changes is it gets rid of the enemies. I thought we'd still be stealthing through enemies to keep that difficulty, but after all the pain and suffering that we have gone through in those other two areas, I can't believe how much of a troll these these owl aliens are. They're like, we're gonna burn it, we're gonna burn the code information, and then we're gonna digitize it, we're gonna store it, keep it safe and protect it. But then we're gonna burn that too, in the digital rendition. God damn it. So this next room has to has to hold the answer to how we get the, the codes. Or it's a, all a big misdirect and it's just another end of everything accepting the that we can't we can't have all the answers to everything. We're gonna move on with our lives. I mean who knows? Alright, here we go. We get up to this little platform here. Get dropped off. Jump on here. I genuinely feel like if I fucked that up and landed in the water, then I would have had a heart attack. We're here. We go over here. It's time. Uh, we can now f we can now freely navigate this area. There's no enemies. I just have to find that um, underground path without going the wrong way. And we were right on top of it last time. I was like, it should be here. I've, do I've done it again. Luckily, we got enough. I got enough time to fuck around and find it this time. Shit, or do I? It's a little deeper in here, isn't it? It's got to be a little deeper in. This is just obviously when you haven't nailed down your pathway yet, All right? So it was this way. Hold on. This is so much harder to just try and find from memory, dude. That's us circling around the wrong way. Alright, fuck. Hang on. Alright, where the fuck is it? Now I've fucked up this bad. <laughs> Am I right on top of it again? It's like right here, isn't it? Oh, it's right there. Look at that. Is that it? Yes, it's right on top of it. Shambles. Found it. Found? Oh, 
Yes, yeah, so there's no music now. Safe. Walk right through fire. This is fake. Down into room. Okay. Secret knowledge. And here's the really interesting part is... Oh, this one's more of an outsidey one. Here's the really cool thing about this. Is like realizing... Uh, that that right there is the vault, right? Yeah. And we realized that before because that's the light source with the with the sentry. And something that I thought going into this is we'd eventually have to go to the fourth area and then we'd get... You would enter those codes in each of those things and we'd have to like go somewhere... You know what I mean? We'd have to like <laughs> do something else, but I, I'm not sure not sure we have to do that now because it looks like all of these islands are in that same sort of area. Okay, this is where we can insert the artifact. And it opened a door for us. Yep, fucking burn. Uh, oh, hang on, was it? So it... Ah... So it allows us to do that. So there's two pieces here, uh, a planet and a planet. All right. So let's grab a reel. Let's watch a movie. Eye of the universe, emitting the signal, reaching them. Oh, this is the origin of everything. Okay, so this is the very beginning. So this is where they started to blur out some things. Oh my god. Whoa, that's amazing. Come and look at this. That's what happened. Oh, that's so fucking sad. That explains it. To build the stranger, they had to destroy their home and deplete it of their natural resources. To build that to travel. That's why it was so much more devastating to them to learn that fucking truth. Oh my god, dude. I empathize with these with these fuckers so much, but they're so scary. Oh, that's so sad. All right, so you can start seeing that when they get to that... Oh, man, that hits you hard. When you get to the point where you start seeing they're like, oh, fuck, they're like uh, naturally upset. That's like the end of everything, right? They, they're in the pursuit of knowledge, of curiosity. They wanted to be like, wow, what is this amazing signal? They learn and they get a vision that it just is literally the end of everything. And they're like, holy fuck, we have just... They're a natural, peaceful species that just like to look at stars and planets in their little telescopes, and they have a beautiful planet, and they destroyed it. They they had to mine their location to build that stranger in the pursuit of knowledge, only to find out it's for nothing. Like, that is immensely defeating. So then they had to, forced to digitally recreate their home planet to live out a dreamy technological existence. And they just wanted to be left alone, and they burned their secrets of what they learned. This is our final reel. telling me this whole time you telling me this whole time since the beginning i've just been able to jump off my raft when we're in the in a transition between the areas when we're in the pitch black we just jump off into the nothingness Are you kidding me all right hold on a second we just jump off does it matter uh which area specifically we transition between or not so you stay on there, it loads the next area, right? Or you just jump off. You bastard. Okay. This game is like fucking 
perfect. And the problem with this game, the massive glaring lingering issue that will never not be an issue, never not be a problem with this game, it has zero replayability. Like, oh my God. Once you know, you are cursed with knowledge. And no matter how many slide reels you burn in your own mind, you will never forget it. <laughs> like they did, they tried to burn and hide all this knowledge, but they were cursed to forever know the answers. This game is so meta in that sense. You can never play this game again with such genuine curiosity and, uh, and figuring it out and going, holy shit. It's a one and done. And I'm so grateful for, for this DLC to be able to recapture and give you that Outer Wilds experience again. And, and they fucking nailed it with a follow-up. So for, for those of you that had to wait a few years and get surprised by a DLC announcement, I can just tell you guys were just living the dream to experience this, and so am I. Uh, they are just absolutely bizarre. Okay, we're in, okay, it's jump. Oh, you, fuck you. Fuck you. Okay, what do we do now? We walk to, do we walk there? Where do we go now? Well, now I'm just, now I don't know what to do. Now I'm just kind of scared. Where do I go? Am I just, am I going to drown? Have I, do I, tra am I transcending reality now? Can I just walk on water? I'm going this way. I'm picking a direction. Am I safe to just walk on anything now? Okay, wait. So this is now taking us to where we... Hang on. No. Okay, hang on. I gotta do this again. For a second there, I was like, oh, maybe we've entered like a fucking alternate version. and then the codes will be on the doors. That was not the case. Um, when we land there, we have to pick a correct direction. I don't know which one that is. Fear the end times are among us. Another loop it is. <laughs> Shit. Uh, <laughs> another loop. This time we can just do it instantly though, right? This time we just fucking jump off the raft. And we can do it and we go there and we have to pick a direction. I don't know where we go from here. This is the funny, the funny thing about this is you figure out something like you go, oh, maybe it's this. And you're like, holy shit, we've got it. And then you enter the next step and you go, now, now what? <laughs> like there's so many moments in this, in this game where you have that, you're like, oh my God, we're progressing. We've figured it out. And then you're like, wait, um, now I don't know what to do again. And you have to figure it out again. Like, that's the part that's just like, what? Okay, so you can just jump in here. Okay, so where should we go? There? Straight ahead to, to this area? I'm going here. Oh, hang on, this is a new spot. Hang on, because that's the area over here. Hang on. <gasps> this is the thing. This is the thing. Oh, and then there's a raft. This is where we go. Oh. Oh. We blew out one seal. Huh. We blew off one of them. It's a fuck. I don't even need to get the codes. So. Do I need to now jump off 
the raft in all th- all of the different transition zones and then it will blow out the seal to that specific thing is that how that works that doesn't feel correct we only extinguished one seal We blew it away. I'm on the precipice. I'm on the precipice. We blew it out, but only one of them. And then there's a raft that takes us to that spot. The codes are a red herring. I've been chasing that this whole time, waiting to get those codes to unlock the thing. All you need is the power of extinguish. And... I don't know, man. I sincerely do not know. But now we can we now we can just go straight into it, right? We can go straight in. We get an artifact, we go into the little we're gonna go to the third location again so we're safe from the to the third location again so we're safe from the flood in case we still don't get it done in time cannonball dropped my artifact I mean, to tell you I'm I'm stumped now at this point again would be an understatement. Because yeah, it's, it's just the same thing where it's like now I go, I'm like cool. Now I figured out where to go. But now we have more, I have more questions once again. Honestly, though, I'm proud of myself though for at least what we've how far we've come in this com- in complex, mind-boggling, brain-wrinkling existence of a technological matrix dreamscape that hurts to say it's so cool though like this is the stuff that continues to really impress me is um a statement that i've i've brought up in uh when i was playing mass effect andromeda and this is a this will make sense this will come around uh mass effect andromeda was I had a big problem when they introduced their brand new alien species. Um, they were so similar to how we... Ouch. They are so similar to how we operate. Like, so many similarities down to, like, architecture and language and just how things work. And it was so similar that it doesn't feel like it's a whole other galaxy. Of, of stuff with an alien species that can be anything you ever could uh, think it to be. Limitless potential and, and possibility. And then we have Outer Wilds come through and they give us um, the Namai and these owl uh, aliens. The Harthians are very kind of similar and relatable to you know humanity in a way and that is intentional and it's amazing and i love it but like the namai and this owl species completely different completely different like they're absolutely fucking bizarre like technology and ways to communicate and all of it and all of it and it's and it's so well done like this is how you do aliens you know they're just so absolutely mind-bogglingly hard to understand the concept of 
You just like, what? Huh? Like, how are you even real? How do I how do I figure out how any of your like, your technology or your spirituality, your culture? How do I figure out how any of it works? And it's all this amazing journey of like oh wow this is how this works this is how this species operates this is their culture this is their story it's so perfectly wonderful to take in and then in comparison to mass effect andromeda you go and discover this brand new species <laughs> and you just go oh they kind of like operate exactly like humans but a little bit different like you look at them and you understand their technology you understand how they work how they operate you know they're very easy to understand uh, and to learn about, you know? It's just such a bizarre thing in comparison to get to something like this. Like, could you imagine the Mass and, and Effect Andromeda crew trying to learn about the... learn and communicate with, like, the Namai or the Owl aliens? Also, I... <sighs> I think one of the funniest parts about this game is they tell you, you learn about the Namai and what they're called right away. I have no idea what they what these fellas are what these fellas are called. Because they have a language that you never translate, which I genuinely thought we would actually be able to do at some point. You have a language that we can't translate. We have no idea who they are. They're a complete mystery. All we know is their story and it's tragic. Okay, so. Here we go, here we go! We're going to transition now in the other world. We're going to transition in the dream world. Up you go. I'm setting that up just in case. Summon a raft. And then in the world between worlds, we're gonna just jump off. It's funny because I never thought to uh, turn off the the lights on this raft either. Maybe we could we would have done that. Something would happen. So if we ouch, I took damage. <laughs> I, I took damage. Excuse me. <laughs> what? All right, so we walk through to, to this spot. And what we see here... Oh, there's another one. There's another one. Yeah, okay. There's one seal. I have to get to that one and to that one. And I guess this is just, there's one of these on every spot. Does that mean I now have to... Yeah, because it's out now. Yeah, I have to get to that one. We've got the permanent light source, so... It's annoying that I can't just have this go in whatever direction I want, just kind of fly over there. But now that means what I have to do is wake up. <gasps> Those off. Go back to the raft. But go into those other transition zones instead to blow out the first and third seal. And then we open it, right? And that's it? Question mark? Like, I have to, every fucking assumption I have to make is like, that's it? Question mark? Because who knows? Because this still isn't going the way that I thought it would. The codes were a misdirect this entire time. We were chasing after these codes and it's like, nah. Just the magic of blowing out candles. All right, so now summon this raft and go to the next transition zone. And 
and then we got to do it another final time. And we might have our answer. All right, go, 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 go. Hopefully I don't take damage again and die. I guess I just wake up. This transition in the first area, first area transitions into the next area, and then the next area. There's there's four transition zones though, is there not? So one of them might not even be a correct one. I don't know. Alright, we're going in here. Darkness, I'm out. Alright, and then I go over this way. So we just always go over this way. This is so crazy. Why is the raft in the middle like that? Oh, what the fuck? No, it just took me to the same one. It just took me to this. It just took me to the same one. All right, maybe. <sighs> Dude, what? What? I feel... Ah, oh, I forgot to send the lift up. I feel like I'm getting warmer. Alright, maybe that one zone in particular is not the one to go into. Shit. I thought we had it. This is the, this is the problem here. This is the problem. You think you have it? You don't have it. Okay, we're not gonna go in that. I have to keep I have to keep trying this. I have to keep I have to do it into two more transition zones. <sighs> Otherwise what I'm doing there it this feels this feels counterproductive. Do you know what I mean? Like do, having to do this back and forth three times almost feels counterproductive instead of just being able to blow out all the seals in one visit. It does feel counterproductive. I have to keep trying though to see if my theory is correct. If not, I got to do something different and figure it out. But we're going to ignore this zone and the next. And we're going to do the one after that and see if we end up in a different spot when we fall down. If not, what that means is when we drop down into that area, we just have to pick a different direction while we're walking on water. And end up at one of the candles, blow it out, and then do it again to another one. But I don't think, I don't think you can return back to the water to walk on. I think that's where the issue is. That's why I think you have to do multiple return visits. So we're not going to jump off through this one. We're going to jump off in the next one. We are on the very precipice of a breakthrough. All right, we're going to jump off on this one. same spot? We are 100% in the same spot. Alright, we're in the same spot. We are, in, we are in the same spot. So we can walk to any of those three locations, but you don't want to. I think we can just walk around the fucking edge here. Okay. We can just walk around the edge. Oh, the center one must be just the final one that you go through then with the raft. But I've trapped the raft over the other side. Oh my god, this is infuriating and it's all my fault. Oh. Wait. Hang on. No? Oh! Is that an invisible fucking bridge? 
that one? Oh, sh that might just be an invisible bridge to get to that one. Oh, 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 oh! Each room! Oh my, oh my god. And he finally gets it. Oh, each room of the Forbidden Knowledge teaches you one thing that you need to get to each of those... Oh my god. Each one of these... The fucking rooms with the slide reels teaches you how to deal with each of them. He says so confidently, hoping that he's right. Like, that's an invisible bridge you can walk over. Hopefully. And then you blow it out. That one there, you put down the lantern, you go matrix mode. And you walk across the bridge. Because you are undetectable. And you can blow it out. And then this one is the one that you drop off the edge. And then you take the raft over. And you take your fucking victory lap. Am I right or am I... Am I painfully wrong still? I can't... Uh, I'm so annoyed that I've put the... Ramp over. Am I right or am I painfully wrong? I think we still have time to fix my mistake here. So what I can do, what I can do is we go to the last location now. So I think that's what we might need to do. Go to this last location. Oh, fuck you. We go to this last location. The raft is now there, so that's fine. And we try and figure out these last two. Oh my god. If this isn't it, then this whole Eureka moment is for nothing. But I think we I think we might have it. I think it's finally just hit me on the on the head of all of those fucking rooms we went in taught us two things. One room taught us three things. It taught us how they their story of the things that they burned and then it also tells us uh, in each location how to get to one of those little candle things to blow out and the code is is burned the code is gone it took me it, it took me a healthy oh it's it opens in right I need to be in here because then it's open in the dream and then this reality. Okay. It it took a moment, but it fucking hit me like a ton of bricks. Now, am I right? I I definitely hope so. Cause this is the moment of truth. If I'm right or if I'm not right. That could be an invisible bridge, but it also just might not be. Uh, so I'm gonna go with I'm going to go with this one on the right first, just in case I don't just fall into the water immediately. So we're going to put the, we're going to put this shit on the ground and I'm going to walk this way. No. Okay. Hang on. That's not right. That's not right. Oh, look at that. Okay. Hang on. Oh, the matrix one was for this one. The Matrix one is, is for this one. Oh, I hate this. Oh, I felt that we were so close. Oh my god, I thought that I thought I had it, dude. I thought I had it. How do we sort this shit out? How do we how do we how do we resolve this conundrum?
I mean, I'm in, I'm in a, I'm in a state right now. How? Look at that. That's not an invisible. It's not an invisible pathway at all. It's a, it's a jumbled pathway. I fall right off. <gasps> I had a fake epiphany. Fuck. <laughs> oh, it made so much sense. <laughs> Oh, we've, we're one third of the way there. Oh, it made so much sense to me. I have to review the footage. I does this, this goes into the ship log, right? I have to review the footage that we have watched in the ship now. Um, I have to, I have to review the footage. Hang on, am I meditating and waking up? No, good. Because I thought my fire was on, I was sleeping and I was, I went to the dreamland. Okay. We're going to review the ship log, we're going to, we're going to read, now that I've felt, thought a little bit harder about those slide reels. We're gonna see. Oh, my brain, my brain. Forbidden archive is what they're called. Ooh, hang on a minute. This one says there's more to explore. Why is this one more to explore? What? Have I missed a slide reel in there? Shit, I've missed something in there. Thanks, slide reel. Very cool. Oh, I think it's the it's the container marked with the vault seals, but the contents have been destroyed. I just didn't get to it to open it. I think that's the there's more to explore here thing. So I, I can ignore that. Hopefully I'm I'm pretty confident in that one because that's the only door we haven't opened to see it been burned. You know what I mean? One of the strangers jumping off a raft during a transition and falling below the world. Oh yes, no, this is the one, because it, the alarm bell failing to wake up the stranger's inhabitants, right? The alarm bell failing to wake it up, which is, and that's how we get past. That's how we get past the bell. Oh, I need to die? Oh, I need to die. And then, oh. I need to die. Do I need to die? I think I do. If I stand on the fire, I will die, but I'm in that radius. I will still wake up in that world. There's no body for me to wake up from with the alarm bells. I can walk through all the sentry shit. I will be able to walk through all of the sentry stuff without waking up. The Matrix one is still something I need to do and it reveals platforms. I don't... Maybe if you do the code thing, it might move the platforms. It might move the... It might move the platforms down. If you spin the symbols, maybe it changes the position of a 
an invisible bridge. And if we do that, I believe that we have it. If we do that, I think we might have it. And if that is how it works, we have done it. I fucking hope so. And if so, that is insanely clever. That is insanely clever. Holy shit. Like, insanely clever. That's crazy. That is like, that is just, that's just something else. That's just something else. That might be it. We, we have to die. God. So, uh, my Eureka moment was actually correct. Each of the rooms was indeed teaching us something about... Uh, I knew I was going to get launched into the fucking ghost map. <laughs> Yeet! <laughs> um, each of those rooms didn't house the code, but they housed the means to still open the seal. And that is, that's so clever. It's such a, such a misdirect. That is such a... Clever, a clever way to do it. Clever way to do it. Oh, fucking hell. Okay, so we we now don't need to do anything else. We don't need to do anything else. We don't need to do anything else. Hopefully. We're going to the third location to go to sleep. We will then take the raft in the transition. We will fall down. We will then unlock all three of the seals. And then what we will do is I think we will then have to wake up in the third location, travel to the fourth location, and then the vault, which is sealed, uh, will be opened to us. Um, but also, I'm, there's the one part, there's one part that I'm kind of concerned about here, and that is, um, I think we're killing ourselves, right? Like, we're dying. So we won't be able to get woken up by the alarm bells, but that also means that we're dead, and we're trapped in there. This is the part, this is the one part of my theory that I'm kind of like, ah. So there might not be a waking up. There might not be a waking up from this moment. And that might be how the DLC ends, which we are, we, we learn the secret. We learn what happened here, but we also can't escape because our body has perished. There's only one way to find out and that's by doing it. I could again be completely wrong when I feel like I might be right. This is the this is the very challenging part about this DLC is it's very tough on the brain. If you haven't noticed. Alright, we are in a safe zone. We are now going to die. We are now going to roast ourselves. I'm dead. We can now not be woken up by the bells. Is there a way for us to wake up in our body after we do this? Potentially the, the knowledge that we obtain in this thing that we open could be like enough of like a power to like resurrect our, our form and go resurrect us. And we, we get jolted back to life next to the fire, and then we can go to the vault. That's the only way that I think it could happen, is like, even though our body is currently incinerated and has probably just now become ashes, <laughs> maybe let's suspend some disbelief. 
suspend some disbelief. I get resurrected somehow through the power of this knowledge that we're about to obtain, and then I can then proceed with the actual uh, uh, original ending of the main Outer Wilds game, but with the DLC complete. Correct or no? I don't know. At the very least, we have confirmed the death theory, which was not hard to confirm. We literally saw a slide reel confirming it. I just needed to wait. It just needed to stew in my slow cooker of a brain for a bit. And then there was like that ding and it was dinner's ready, you know? Dinner's ready. Holy shit. It's just so satisfying when dinner's ready in your brain. That's, that's how I summarize that one. The best part about dinner being ready is after dinner you get dessert. And that's where we're at. We've had the dinner brain idea. Now we gotta, we gotta get to zoo. The, the funniest part about all of this is we could still be wrong. But it feels so right. It just feels so right. I'm sending you up just in case I need to come back. It feels so right. We will now be able to walk through those bells without being woken up. And then the other one with the invisible matrix thing, I genuinely feel like the only way we could change the position of those platforms is to spin the code wheel around until it lines up. That is, that's, that's all, that's all I've got. That's, that's all I've got. And if I, if that doesn't work, I don't know what to tell you. And this is why this one has the raft, because you have to start here, take the raft to the island, branch out to the other two, and then you've cracked the code. And if I'm wrong from this point, I got nothing. This is, this is it. can now not be woken up by these sentries, right? It'll be a big old error. Yep, doesn't even make a noise. I can't even hear the bells because I am dead. I'm dead. You hear me? I'm dead. What the fuck? All right, I'm dead. That's out. Because this has a very grim ending. If I, if I am cursed to learn this information at the cost of my existence, I'm trapped in here forever. Does this work? Please. Yeah! Oh my God, that's so fucking satisfying, bitch. Yes. Oh my God. We did it. I'm gonna cry, dude. I'm gonna cry. Oh my God. Dude, that is so clever, and it just took a while. Holy shit, dude. That is so clever. My god. In, they burned the codes away, but they gave you the information on how to still do it in each room. That was a massive Eureka moment, and it, it's so funny that my Eureka moment was backwards. I was like, holy shit, I'll go matrix mode and I can walk through the light when it was the other way around. And it was the other way around. Okay. Give me this. We open in this thing, right? Oh, I'm going to go. I'm going to go in, aren't I? I'm going inside of it. Because there's nowhere else to go. On my physical form, I killed myself for this. There's no light coming out of it now. Oh, dude. Okay, Silent Hill 2.
that's another, that's one of the owl people, right? That's their soul, their existence in one of these. Because that's how these artifacts work. No. Oh, hang on. Talk to the prisoner. It's missing a horn. Talk to the prisoner. They sealed one of their own down here. He sealed one of their own. The one who is responsible. Is the one who discovered the whole thing and started them on their journey? Did they 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 sealed they sealed him in for it? Like you started us on this journey, fuck you. You're imprisoned forever. And he just went out to like attack because he thought that it was the people that have imprisoned him, and was like, wait a second. We're actually talking to one. This is unbelievable. Who are you? I can't understand you, obviously. Language barrier. Oh my god. Oh, this is... Oh, you're gonna show me! Okay. Woke up. You turned it off. The eye of the universe signal went back out again. He snuck out from dreamy bedtime. And he was caught for it. Activated it. So you were imp he was imprisoned for take vision torch. Oh, and now I do it to you, and I tell you about me. I tell you I tell you about me oh my god I'm going to cry what the fuck I, oh. the music dude Oh my god! That brief, the brief moment that that signal was released again, then the Mai discover it. This whole game exists because of that. Dude, holy shit. Right? Because of that one owl's choice. And there's the that's the ghost manner. That one owl's choice to release the signal for that brief moment. That reached the Namai. And then that's fucking me. No, it's Feldspar. It's Feldspar. And then he discovered it and he brings it back. This is the full fucking recount, man. That's me. I 
I can't believe this game got me to cry twice at both endings. Dude, why is this game such a fucking gut punch? Oh. Oh, you want this back, obviously. There you go. <laughs> you, you obviously want that back. Oh, okay. Thank you for freeing me. I now leave. Ah! one can travel at a time. I might, I might be... Uh, <laughs> I, did, I freed him and imprisoned myself. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna come back. Just only one at a time. <laughs> oh my god. So the eye signal was going out that whole time. The owl people find it first. I thought that they just... The Namai would have found it probably like around the same time or just like it just happened. I didn't think that, like, you would never expect, you would never, you would never expect, like, that brief moment, that brief moment where the, the signal went out, all that stuff happened, leading up to, like, me and freeing you. It's all, like, all connected, and it just, like, lets out this, like, it lets out this, like, emotional cry that's, like, holy fuck, it was worth me getting in prison for, it was worth me doing that because this has happened, or something along those lines, you know, but emotional all the same. What a gut punch this game is both times. Main game and DLC. God, this is a fucking grim prison. Where have you gone? New friend? New friend just dropped? So do I get on and I ride off into some sort of sunset? I'm dead though, right? I get on? I go? Is that what happens? Didn't happen. Ah. Hmm. What happens now? Oh shit. He gave us the vision to get onto a raft with you. In the real world? I'm dead. I can't wake up. Um. Hmm. Do we the net the only next step is for us to go up into this. Right? We go up in there. Otherwise, I got nothing. ending we go off into a sunset together uh, what happens now I'm dead
what happens if I jump in the water? It, it'll time loop me, right? Because I can't wake up. I'm dead. I had to die to do that. I'm a little bit, a little bit lost at that, you know? Because I saw this as a sort of moment of, we're riding off into the, oh, hang on, oh. Oh, he killed, oh my God, that's, oh. I, see, I get it, okay. You have to follow the footsteps. And then it said echoes of the eye, so that's different. So it's like, I guess it's like saved it. That is a fucking bleak. That is bleak. But how this game works is that the Ash Twin Project has saved all of our memories and it gets transported to now. So all those memories are still with us of that whole thing happening. Oh my god, which means now we can do the ending of the game. We do the we do the final run with the Ash Twin project. Because at the end of at the end of everything, the only people that are there are the people that we remember. That's why we bring the whole group back and we bring Solanum in and Solanum's like, thank you for remembering me. We have to now do the ending. Again, no, don't go to the stranger. I've been doing that automatically too much. Uh, we have to do the main story ending again. Except this time we will remember our new friend and they will be with us at the end. That's how that works. Because we have the memory of they live on in our memory at the end of everything. Which means we have to do Dark Bramble. Um, oh, we have to do Dark Bramble. Um, that was Echoes of the Eye. We did it. We did Echoes of the Eye. We made a new friend and then we freed them from eternal torment in there. And they told us a final story of you get on there and you go off and, and this is our happy ending. But the real the reality of it is you have to die. The reality of it is we both have to just drown ourselves. And that's the end of that story. You know, physically, that owl has now ceased to exist, and so did we. And that, <laughs> that person doesn't know we're in a time loop. You know? Oh, my God. I can't believe that. That is just so tragically heartbreaking constantly. This game is just a, a tragedy. But a masterful tragedy. Um, nonetheless, and now I have, now we do the, <laughs> now we do the final run again, except this time with another friend at the end. And I'm still glad that I'm doing this, uh, second. I'm glad that we're doing the ending again with a new perspective, and this is how it's going to happen. Um, with this new owl friend living on our in our memory because we get to have the original intended experience and then we also get to have the echoes of the eye uh, in an addition to that um, as a as a follow-up and I think what's really exciting about doing it that way is you get to realize how it affects the the ending you go oh shit everything is like saved in our memory constantly due to the ash twin project we have therefore we're now able to remember this this prisoner this new friend and they'll have a new instrument to bring they'll have a new instrument to play at our group campfire and we've we haven't heard what it sounds like yet and we're going to hear it play and that's how the, so we have to go through the, we're going to go through the ending again. I'm going to run through that now. I just want to air out these feelings first. I'm going to go through that. We're going to solve this whole situation. And then we're going to get to the campfire and have a brand new friend. And everybody else is going to be like, who the hell is this guy? <laughs> um, but Echoes of the Eye was fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. It was so complex and brain wrinkling like it was really difficult actually 
um, but satisfyingly so when the answers clicked and we had our a big old smack in the brain light bulb eureka moment that was so close to it was true but we still got it in the wrong order and then we figured it out but uh which made it all the more satisfying like holy shit that was that was incredible and realizing that it was a it was then like the prisoner who had tried to release the the signal again and it inspired this whole story and this whole thing happening is just masterfully done like it's, it's just perfectly implemented into into the story there and, and being able to see in like storybook form like little slideshow form you know it all happening our our whole story then the my story of them receiving the signal traveling teleporting getting stuck in dark bramble like the whole thing uh is just is just amazing i'm gonna do the run we're gonna get to the bonfire and we're gonna we're gonna see this uh we're gonna see this play out we have a new friend to remember at the end of everything how good is being able to use your dlc acquired knowledge <laughs> and then realizing that you can track the vessel like you've been tracking the stranger for the past however many hours so i don't actually have to go to that uh i don't i don't have to go to that fucking i have to go to that grave every time and make the signal go through <gasps> oh but you do have to watch out for those fucking anglerfish Oh, I hate that they're in the first area. I genuinely, I think it's bullshit. <laughs> I think it's bullshit that the anglerfish are in the very first area. That should just not be allowed. Hearing, just hearing the fucking anglerfish chasing after you is enough to make your heart fucking pound through your chest. <sighs> you just get close enough to just fucking gun it to this. fish off to the right there. The, oh. It's off to the left. Oh, I, f I fucking hate that. Holy shit. I thought it was the one to the right. Tension of those anglerfish. God damn it. God damn anglerfish, dude. It was just as, as exhilarating as the first time. It 
Quantum moon? That is a oh my god! The quantum moon is orbiting the eye of the universe right now. How cool is that? How cool is that? You can see the quantum moon orbiting the eye of the universe, and if I look away, it's gone. That's so cool. Look away, it's gone. Nice. That's actually such a cool sight to see it orbiting the eye. God damn, dude. Look at this shit. Oh. We make our little ending run through here once again. Oxygen tank refilled because we've detected trees. Something we're going to do this time that we didn't do uh, last time uh, is uh, suggested to shoot a scout launcher into the eye. <laughs> Just connection with scout is lost. get it back I can't even retrieve it okay well, there you go <laughs> I thought I'd be able to maybe like at least recall it or take a photo oh that's crazy <laughs> it's just gone it is like yeah so it's gone forever This still blows my mind. Like, what the fuck? What do we have to do? Uh, we, oh yeah, we observe. We observe. We observe. I genuinely love that we come back to this, like the map here, and we observe from there. Like, look at that. Holy shit. No. This is one of the greatest video game transitions of all time. Just the massive zoom out of this. And then as you come back and you go through it and you enter and you see all of these lights. And just as it, as you get further and further down and it transforms to the forest. Like that is, oh my God. It is just an unbelievable transition and it's so perfect like it's it's what it's insane like it's just such an emotional shock you know god damn it's the the galaxy the universe it's all just a, a giant forest of stars Retrieve all of our instruments, and there, sh there should be a new one. There should be should be a new a new friend to to remember. 
that should join our little our little crew. We have everyone here. One more signal. This is what this instrument sounds like. Oh. Uh, hold on. Oh. Um, anyone got a shovel? <laughs> oh. Ooh. Oh, oh, that's so clever. Oh my God. Oh God. That's, that's, this is so intensely clever. Oh wow. Oh, oh, what the fuck? Oh, and they're gone. Oh, and they're gone. And... Oh, and they're gone. Oh, my God. Now I'm gone. Oh, that's absolutely terrifying. Okay. Gather. Oh, that, that was terrifying. Jesus. Uh, <laughs> we did it, though. Put the body behind us. Oh, my God. Well, it's talking. When my kind, because I guess Solanum could talk to us as well, right? When my kind found the eye and realized what it was capable of, they were terrified. It was too difficult a truth, like a light too bright to look upon directly. It burned them. What they could not unlearn was hidden away in darkness, obfusc obfuscated, then lost. They did not want to see their story end. My kind weren't always like this. We weren't always so afraid. I did what I could to set things right, yet I am still of my kind, and you now know what they did. I cannot promise our fear won't stain your mind. And so a choice. Are you certain you want to remember me? Join us. Let's see what happens. I don't want to repeat my kind's mistakes, but if you're willing to take the risk, then so am I. Dude. Oh. Oh. Jesus. Hey, why do you do that? I hadn't dared to hope that anyone would hear the signal for how briefly I set it free, yet here we are. Are you ready for the final step? Yes. And it's time to send our spark out into the darkness. Oh, it has like... Oh. It's so beautiful. is not at all how I expected it to sound and it's so beautiful and I just love how it fits right in it fits right in Genuinely one of the most beautiful endings to a video game ever. <laughs> Cut it a little close, don't you think? Well, it worked out in the end, I suppose. I uh, hope there are beasties in the next one. I'll tell you what, this has been really fun. I got to help make something pretty cool, so I've got no complaints. I mean, not me, exactly, but close enough. It's the kind of thing that makes you glad you stopped and smelled the pine trees along the way, you know? I believe we've reached the end of our journey. All that remains is to collapse the innumerable possibilities before us. Be ready to learn what comes next. It's tempting to linger in this moment while every possibility still exists. But unless they are collapsed by an observer, they will never be more than possibilities. Even if it's over now, I had a good time learning. But I think the rules are about to change. I learned a lot by the end of everything. 
past is past now. That's, you know, it's okay. It's never really gone completely. The future is always built in the past, even if we won't get to see it. Still, it's um, time for something new now. Wow, how long has it been since I got to make music with everyone around a campfire? I'm really happy we're all here. How beautiful. It's different than I'd envisioned. Whatever happens next, I do not think it is to be feared. Yes. I admire your curiosity, friend. Let's find out together. I love that they all have a thing to say at the very end. As we create the next Big Bang by letting it all go. Boom. The next Big Bang. And we got to do it with a new friend. And here we are again at another ending of Outer Wilds where I almost hit three hours. <laughs> we did it again. Another three hour long Outer Wilds episode. I just, the ending really hooks you in and you need to see it through to the end. There isn't a point where you go, you know what guys, I'm gonna take a break at this point and I'm gonna wait. I just, you get to that, that point when you feel that you're right around the corner to the ending you're on the edge of it and you have to pursue it right to the end and then you find yourself three hours later and you hit the hit the outer wilds credits and there you go what a beautiful game twice over like echoes of the eye blows you away and then you get back here on the on the credits and here you are i don't not sure if anything is going to change uh at the end credits or whether it'll be exactly the same i mean i'd expect it to be exactly the same because that was the end and then it was showing you know life growing once again in a, in a new after a new big bang billions and billions and billions of years later but we're going to see the credits through to the end anyway let's see what happens 14.3 billion years later, we see a new universe, a new beautiful universe. With their own instruments and their own music and their own weird looking planets as they begin to form and solidify and become actual planetary masses. New species. Absolutely beautiful. Oh! Oh, there's change! There's a, there is actually something different! Oh my god, it actually added something different. A new v variation of them with the, with the lamps! Oh my god, and then... Oh. It actually, they actually added something new to the, to the end. I did not expect that at all. I genuinely was like, oh, it would probably just be the same. They actually added something new at the end. What a nice little treat. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining me for the Outer Wilds journey. Thank you so much for joining me for the main game and Echoes of the Eye. That's all I can say is thank you. Thank you so, so much. I hope you've loved it. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, because holy crap, like, I don't, I don't even know what to say at this point. Like we've just gone through the ending twice, uh, and it's been an emotional gut punch both times. Uh, I, I love this game pieces and it's, it's a joy to go through and I can never go through it again. <laughs> I can only speed run it now that I know everything. Like that's the wild part about it. It's so crazy. It's a game that you can only experience for the first time one time. And this is like the epitome of that thing. Like there's a, never, no playthrough like your first playthrough for every game, but this is a particular exception that you can never do this again. Every other game you can like forget details and you can forget things and be hazy on stuff. But with this one, it's never going to leave you. Like you're going to, you're going to know exactly how you can do things. If you try and replay the game, you, it's crazy. And I'm going to go and sleep now and doze off to my own little dreamland and dream about this game and this beautiful experience that we got to 
to share together. Thank you so much for joining me for, for Outer Wilds. Uh, and to those of you who uh, asked me to play this game and voted for me to play this game and have been happy for me to play this game, thank you for joining me on this journey, whether you watched it as it was happening or whether you're catching up to it uh, ahead of time from now to 14.3 billion years into the future if you're still watching it that far and this is the only thing that survived of humanity uh and you're a new species going wow this guy played this video game thank you so much for hanging out with me it's been an absolute joy um there's plenty more games out there for me to play and discover and experience um but as always nothing quite like this you know nothing quite like this until Mobius does something else and then we see what else they make but there's always so many more beautiful experiences to be played and um, great games to experience so please do stick around on the channel and subscribe and hang out uh, with this community uh, if you'd if you'd like to if you'd like to it's a beautiful it's a few beautiful place to be we love video games here we appreciate them we love checking them out and uh, I'd ha happy to have you I have no more words this is the end goodbye